In last week's video, we arrived at a small village on Lake Skada, about 30 to 40 minutes from the capital of Montenegro, Podgorica. The village is quite a drive from any ATMs or shops, but we had the greatest experience staying with locals in this village that had surprisingly very good internet. We explored the lake by boat, went swimming in it, and experienced one of the hottest days in Europe. I believe that no place's story should go untold and that no place or person should ever feel invisible. That's why we love visiting the lesser explored places, connecting with the locals Hello. and hearing the stories about their lives. And no matter to which country we go, it always hits me how similar it is to all of our stories. We're all just humans. And this is Rex, who loves chasing the cat. While traveling the world for the last few months, we've really seen the neglect and suffering of stray animals and it breaks your heart. So for every new subscriber, we feed a stray animal. You can also donate a meal for the only the price of a takeaway coffee by visiting www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash travels. So we enjoyed staying so much in this rural village area of Montenegro that we decided we want to spend another weekend here and go wine tasting. But the place we stayed in was fully booked. But there was another one just up the road which also belonged to the same people that was open for the weekend. So, so that was where we used to stay. Then we moved up this hill. To that. The house that we moved to was actually where the lady who currently runs the Airbnb was born in and raised. It was really, really special to say So that. I've been trying to wake up a bit earlier to feel more productive. So I've been trying to wake up at 5 a.m. And then this morning I went to go run just after I woke up like 10 past five. And I ran through the village here. And there was a, a old guy that was awake working in his garden and stuff. And as I ran past, he's like, bravo, bravo, cheering me on. And then there was another guy also working with his um, water and pipes and stuff like, up very early. Um, and then his dog like followed me as I ran. And when I passed the bravo bravo guy again, he talked to me, but in Serbian, so obviously I couldn't understand. But it's like, it's so nice, this community and this village. We're sitting outside and working and the car stopped um, and they got her like a newspaper from town, which is so cute. Has a little kitchen area and the cutest stuff. So it's a very cute little place and it's a studio. Usually we go for a one bedroom, but since we're only here for the weekend and going out tomorrow, a studio is fine because we're not working crazily and we'll have a lot of meetings on the weekend so that's awesome and it's very hot in here um it's very damp um but there's a fan but i think i'm gonna go sit and work somewhere else there's no aircon super excited to be here for another weekend and tomorrow we're going wine tasting at a place whose wine we've really been loving 13 july friday night in the village you drink wine you play mario kart and you look at the amazing view. There's an amazing view? There? Okay. Although you're looking at me. <laughs> I'm very proud of myself. It is the second morning in a row that I woke up at 5 a.m. Saturday. What are you doing? I'm very proud of myself. It's the second day. I've also woken up at 5 a.m. Not by choice. <laughs> I did not wake Jared up on purpose. But today we were staying in a little bachelor's. So naturally I woke him up when I started boiling the kettle for my lemon hot water. <laughs> and I had to plug in, there was only one plug, so I had to plug out his fan put it, so I can have my water. But yes, he did continue sleeping. He did not actually get up. Yes, he did. Then we were off to the wine farm, Uncle Milos drove us, and we drove past some locals. We made it to the place, we hope we can wine taste. 
it's very dead and that you cannot just buy because uncle is coming to pick us up in three hours. If you just wait or if you just go take a while and start tasting it, but nothing is happening. This winery is called Plantase, also known as 13 Jewel Plantase, and is the largest vineyard in a single location in all of Europe. And this building is actually an old Yugoslavian airplane bunker hangar and was partly destroyed when it was bombed by NATO in 1999, but it has the perfect temperature to store wine in. Yeah. Uh, this vineyard covers an area of 2,310 hectares. So this is the largest vineyard in one com complex in Europe. Uh, over there, so that is the second. And also we have the third one. It's marked with the yellow flag, you see. In we've never had a wine tour in another country before. And we've never had a wine tour or wine inside a bunker, military bunker before. Yep, basically. And this is the biggest wine farm in Europe? Um, yeah. Yeah. was very nice. The smoked salmon trout is amazing. The second white wine is similar, but it's it also yellow, but in the glass is a little bit uh, smoother. You, you see while you're swirling the wine, it has a similar color, dark red ruby color. On smell. So this is the runway. There's the rest of the runway there on the other side. And then you go right there to the airport. But um, you can pay for the wine tasting and like cheese boards and stuff like that with a card. But the wine seller selling wine is only buy cash, which is annoying. And we don't really bring enough cash for buying wines. That was really awesome. I didn't record in the car because Uncle Milo was tra playing us some musica. And then we got tired and <laughs> kind of fell asleep. But it was awesome. Something to note though that the sweet wine is very different to our dessert wine. We made some Russians and the really interesting thing about that was it's like everybody has like different opinions about communism and everything and you don't want to like record it when you have a conversation with them. But it's just always like very interesting everybody's different opinion. We had the best time staying in this village and was spoiled completely rotten. Next week we head back to the coast of Montenegro to a city called Tivat, close to Porto Montenegro. And we have our first very, very, very bad Airbnb experience. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Not only does that help my ego, but it also feeds a stray animal.